one filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield formulation, fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Coast to coast. Direct from Austin, you're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Hello, this is Hank Hill, and I'm telling you what, you need to listen to Alex Jones. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Infoworth.com. Is this deja vu? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Live. From Austin, Texas, broadcasting worldwide, it's Alex Jones. Waging war on corruption, crashing to the lies and disinformation. Coming to you from deep in the heart of Texas, Austin, it's the final segment. Man, how depressing talking to Obama supporters. They want to beat me up. I'm a secret Vatican operator. Obama's going to save us. I mean, this is a real headache. But it's important to hear from these folks. I want to run through all their calls as quickly as possible here at the end. I mentioned this earlier, but I'm going to have to cover it tomorrow on the weekday show properly. This is out of New, uh, out of Fox News in Newark, New Jersey. Newark Airport terminal lights tied to security system. First saw this about four years ago in an AP article where they've got these intelligent LEDs that actually have micro cameras built into them that are so small, they're like black specks in the light bulb. And then the data goes back to a chip in the LED and reads it. And then sends back a digital image and audio. And when you watch the news report that we have up on Infowars.com, and you read it, they basically admit it, but act like it's no big deal. It's like buried in a, as a footnote. There are new LED lights greeting passengers at Newark Liberty International Airport's Terminal B, but they do, not, but they do more than eliminate. They are also part of a security system that is watching you before you even get to the security checkpoint. The lights are fitted with computer chips, camera sensors, and Wi-Fi antennas. They collect data and can help detect suspicious activity or aid police investigations. What they are is camouflaged cameras. And we had a caller talk about this Friday, so we looked it up. Uh, Jordan did. And sure enough, ambulances hijack car radios to let drivers know they're coming. And now police do this. They pull you over and they hit a button and it commandeers your radio and turns it on with the smart chips that are in there. So everything's being wired with smart chips to track and control us. I'm not against technology. It's that it's all being hardwired globally with systems of surveillance and control. Just like the Intel chips that dial back even when your computer's off with capacitors wirelessly to the NSA through the cell networks. 
I mean, this is diabolical. It's a giant takeover grid, and it's happening. It's not my opinion. Here it is. Hack the future. How hackers and car makers are battling for control of your ride. Well, yeah, we're being hacked by the globalists. That's what the New World Order is. DHS funds the installation of white boxes that track the population of an entire city. Feds deploy national security system of microphones capable of recording conversations hidden in light poles. That's from 2011, folks. And then here is London Guardian today. Are the robots about to rise? Google's new director of engineering thinks so. Ray Kurzweil, the end of humanity. I mean, this, this isn't me saying this. This is them. This is what's so frustrating, folks. I'm only telling you what they're doing. 95% of the time, it's not my opinion on this show. Man, I wish people knew what was really going on. Hey, look, I'm on The Guardian right there, Bill Hicks. I'm joking. That's supposedly Bill Hicks, too. He's on The Guardian right now, right there. <laughs> That's another good one. Let's go ahead and talk to Tim in North Carolina. Tim, tell me about Obama. Uh, you know, I, I'm actually not necessarily a supporter. I did vote for him, um, but I would consider that, I guess, before I woke up, so to speak. Um, Do you think he's handsome? Um, yeah, no, he's a very good-looking guy. That's what matters. Very eloquently, you know, I think um, he definitely fooled me as far as, you know, Bush was dumb from a mile away. Uh, whereas, whereas Obama was like, it, yeah, well, he, I, I feel fooled for sure. Um, that's not where I disagree with you. In fact, uh, uh, yeah, I appreciate what you're doing for sure. Um, the, the part where I, where I kind of disagree or, um, yeah, the whole climate change issue, I've, I, you know, I'm not any kind of genius, but I do have a bachelor's in, uh, environmental chemistry. And so this, this is what I study and, and I'm, I, I don't know. I just can't figure out why, um, you know, I mean, you look at the Bilderberg Group, okay, you look at, you know, I mean, Rockefeller's name is all over all this stuff. I mean, the reason... They're the one funding the carbon tax. Here, here's the deal. Shutting down our power plants and moving them to countries with no controls puts out more carbon. So it, it's an end of the debate right there. And then we've got serious genetic engineering, toxic waste dumping, nuclear leaks. Carbon is the least of our problems. It's part of the carbon cycle. Water... Oxygen, carbon dioxide, and sunlight. We need those four things. Yeah, but you can't, I mean, think about what a train car weighs, man, and you're burning thousands upon thousands of those a day. I mean, that They've got all the equations. Here. Volcanoes it's put out far more. But yeah, but if you get a volcano, it drastically changes the climate. And what I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that the world's getting warmer. I'm not saying it's getting cooler, either of those. All I'm saying is, is that be careful, because when you support coal, you're supporting blowing up mountains. Listen, I don't Virginia. like petrochemicals. I don't like the uh, fossil fuel uh, energy grid. You're, you're not hearing me. They only want to selectively cut us off because the globalists already own the third world to make their investments more valuable, and it will impoverish us. We are 50-plus percent coal dependent. Not anymore. It's like 45 now. We're going to go bankrupt, brother. We are a sprawling energy dependent. They're not changing that. We, we, it's hurting poor people. I have I zero investment in coal, brother. I actually have family that's in natural gas, which is competing with coal. If I cared about my bottom line and only cared about how my family made money, it would be shut down coal. Believe me. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, I don't. And maybe this is. I don't know. This. This is uh, not hard science, at least not to the public yet. But I tend to think that there's a lot more than they're letting on, as far as um, you know what what Tesla was researching. I think a lot of that research. They're suppressing. Unbelievable. On it. It's on record, sir. You're I, right. I, I honestly, I don't think we even need the solar panels. I don't think we even need the. Totally solar agree. I don't think we totally need agree. Of it, man, I think they're holding on to it because they haven't figured out a way to make money off it yet. But. No, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying anything good about our dear leader, but, um, but you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just, yeah. No, no, I hear you. I appreciate your call. Uh, climate change has become synonymous with progress, and you want new energy. I'm, I want all that, but they just want a global tax to track everything you do with a surveillance grid over carbon, and this planet is carbon starved compared to its earlier periods. Look it up. I mean, you know, they'll, they'll go, look at the glacier. It's melting in the summer. It snows and rains all year. Glaciers get bigger. They've always, all the studies show, look them up. They're always going out to sea. They always show the North Pole going, look, in the summer it got smaller. Of course it did. It always has. 
then it gets bigger in the winter. Uh, I got to go quick here. I got loaded phone lines. Mike in Colorado. Tell me about my dear leader. Alex, uh, uh, quite an honor to speak with you, sir. Um, uh, Obama, I'm an Obama supporter only because, uh, well, first of all, he's my commander in chief. But uh, the main thing is that uh, where would the liberty movement be right now without him? He's pushed us so far so fast that we have uh, we've made great strides towards the, towards real liberty in this country. No, no, I agree with you. Sometimes it's got to get bad before it gets better. My problem is, is that if we don't make the Republicans get rid of all this power grab, they will set the precedent and they will use it in a couple years. We we got to punish him now. Well, right. I mean, we, we exactly. You have to set a precedent because if you uh, if you let them get away with this. If you say, okay, we're, we're not going to impeach him, we're not going to do anything against him, then the Republicans are going to go, they're going to walk right into the office and do whatever they want. It's going to be 10 times worse. Oh, I agree. I mean, I dread somebody like a Chris Christie or a Rubio. Look, they want that. They don't want a Ted Cruz or Rand Paul because I, I believe those guys are for real. And, and, and they're not perfect. Nobody is. But, I mean, we need America's hungry for a libertarian conservative. It's ready. It's what made us great. We need it. As long as the elections aren't fixed, I think Rand Paul could walk right in. There's, there's no question about that. Exactly. And then and we go to the next point. Appreciate your points, Mike. Uh, let's talk to Doug in North Dakota. Go ahead, Doug, quickly. Uh, Alex, uh, how, how is it that all the European countries can afford single-payer health insurance and we can't? Uh, Europe has real socialist health care and very high taxes and actually does provide, quote, government-run health care. On average, so you're absolutely England does a terrible job, but some of the northern Europeans do a good job. But that's because they are very high moral level and are able to carry that out. Well, Canada, Australia, Germany, Britain, France, Canada is pretty hellish from folks I know. I, 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 they, they can afford it, and we can't. Yeah, Europe's going bankrupt too, right now, bro. Well, they're not, well, we're bankrupt, they're bankrupt, but they're, they're at least. Here's my deal. There are a few government-run healthcare systems that are actually pretty good. This one is a giant boondoggle by corporations. It's not even government. It's the worst thing you could get. And then Ezekiel Emanuel says, well, we're going to wreck the system to bring in that one. No, they're not. Look, I'm out of time. Give Obama some fair time. Everything's wonderful being on the Obama team. We take you out with this, InfoWars.com. Until tomorrow, great job, crew and listeners. 11 a.m. Central, the weekday show kicks off at InfoWars.com. It's so cool to be part of a team. And I give you the Obama mating call. Obama. Uh, 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 Obama. Obama. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet? The highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease. It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicists.